Hello, everybody. Ben Saint here, your best friend and Pokemon king. Pokemon Lord. Shit, no. Starting over. I hate it. Hello, everyone. Ben Saint here, your your best friend and Pokemon hero. Uh, doing one of these, doing one of these PCP solo vlogs uh, that were briefly in fashion several months ago and then died out uh, without me uh, getting in on it. But here I am, late to the party, as usual. <coughs> and I'm, I'm announcing, I'm, well, hang on, hang on, let me back up. So as I speak, the Nuzlocke Conquest finale is uploading to YouTube. By the time this comes out, it'll be out. I'll probably leave that up for a little while before I put this put this recording out there. Um, and I, I am announcing the beginning of Min Mafnia. And what is Min Mafnia, you ask? Well, Min Mafnia stands for maybe I'll never make a fucking Nuzlocke ever again. That's right. Um, the thing about, so that I have so many fucking feelings. I poured, I poured so much of myself and my life into these, these Nuzlocke, both Nuzlocke series. Um, it's, it's kind of ridiculous. And, and, and well, all right, back, backing up even further, backing up even further. So some people criticize me. Some people criticize me for how infrequent the uploads were and how I would sometimes be late uploading, and just how, and how, like, and how long the episodes were, and all that. Not everyone liked the format, and that's fine. Um, but I had a vision. I had I had a vision for these Nuzlocke series that kind of, the, the thing about the way that I make my Nuzlocke is that I make like I, I take the old that old adage of like you know make the art that that you would want to see because like if I wasn't if I wasn't making these like if I was just a regular guy like like when I found Monkey's Nuzlocke I was like yeah I love these a lot and that's what inspired me to do mine but like I don't know like like the way the way that I make mine is is like even it's it's perfect like the way that like if I was just some regular jack off and I found my channel and my Nuzlocke, I would blow me the fuck away because to me, to me, the way that my Nuzlocke are is just exact. It's just like perfect. It's it is exactly the kind of thing that I would want to watch, and I would be so fucking hyped. I guess what I'm saying is that I would be my biggest fan. But I mean, that's how it should be, right? Like, because because I'm making the things, I'm making them according to my own sensibilities. So like to me, and for what I wanted them to be, they're perfect. And like, it's a shame, it's a bit of a shame to me that they're such like a niche thing. I had kind of hoped that maybe if I really amped up the production values and like did made it just like put all that fucking art in there and like did kind of like a little the story elements and stuff and sort of did it all in character. I had hoped, part of me had hoped that maybe it could like break out of that Nuzlocke specific niche and like find and like find an audience by kind of like by being a new thing by like approaching it in a way that no one had quite approached it before and by like fully committing to that and i guess to a to an extent it did like my channel did grow doing the nuzlocke but not not as much as like i hoped it would like i hoped that it would be like discovered and people would be like shit this is this is a real cool thing but i guess I guess it's not, I guess I'm just weird. I guess I'm just weird in, in wanting in like that. I would want this kind of content. I guess, I, I guess I'm in the minority. Fair enough. But so since, yeah, no more Nuzlocke, at least I like, I'm, I'm not saying never. That's why it's maybe I'll never make a fucking Nuzlocke ever again. Cause I'm not going to guarantee like, no, I'll never, ever do it again. Never say never. But at the moment, I have no plans to do another one anytime in the foreseeable future. I'm going back to focusing on comics. Um, I'll probably devote and and for like free time for my like free time side projects, the way that Nuzlocke was supposed to be. I am gonna do. I'll probably do my little YouTube like ramble vlogs, talk about movies and shit that that I like or whatever, you know. 
and doing some videos with Jackie on Ben and Jackie's College Fund, which you should totally subscribe to if you don't know about that already. Um, maybe do some some speed draw videos, more of those. My YouTube channel has been a little bit my YouTube channel has been a little bit uh barren lately because I have been working on the fucking finale and that has sucked up all of my energy. So, yeah. S fucking starting today and into possibly forever Min Mafnia. Uh sorry if this comes as a disappointment to those of you who like the Nuzlocks. I know I know that like the Nuzlocks get a pretty small viewership overall, but I know that some people really like them. Like so I'm sorry. Those of you that really enjoy the Nuzlocks, I hope you're not too disappointed. So back when I started Pokemon or Nuzlocke Genocide, it wasn't gonna be Nuzlocke Genocide. It was just gonna be a Nuzlocke. Only I was gonna do art for it because I was like, "Hey, I like Pokemon, and I, and I can draw." So like, I'll, I'll combine combine my interests or whatever, and I'll put I'll put art into it. You know, put give it a little personal touch. Just you know, up up the quality. Just just make it a, a little more high high production value with my with my drawings. Um, it wasn't gonna have like a story or anything, uh, but then at some point like. Three or four episodes into it, they're just it just naturally started emerging. I just started joking about how I was going around killing all the Pokemon, and uh, I like that. I like that angle. I like the idea of like theming it around that and kind of kind of building a little like secondary narrative there aside from the actual Pokemon game story. I th I thought that was really cool. I I guess I was maybe inspired by something like um something like um, the Yogg, the Yogg's cast, uh, what's it, the Shadow of Israfel, which is one of my, one of my favorite, um, like, Let's Play series that I've ever seen, because, like, they're just playing Minecraft, but then all these things start to happen, and, like, the story emerges that is totally separate from the story of Minecraft, and I, and I really like that, so I think I was trying, I was trying to do, at some point I decided I wanted to do something like that, with the Nuzlocks, give them, give them a, a little, a little, a little something extra like that. Um, but when I, when I started out, when I started out genocide almost a year ago, there, it was cause it was going to be like a side project thing that I did when I didn't feel like drawing my comics, right? When I didn't feel like drawing the champion, I think, I, oh my God, I was still working on the champion back then. Um, I was gonna like in my some of my my free spare time. I was gonna play Pokemon and make these videos out of it, and I didn't realize, like, Monkey puts out Nuzlocke videos like a couple times a week, and he doesn't he doesn't do anything fancy to them. Like he just plays the game, you know, puts in the visuals. He does he does some editing. Um, but it's, you know, it's just what he needs to do to, to get the fucking point across, and he puts it out. And um, my fucking, my idea to draw, like, original art of all the Pokemon proved to be totally in, incongruous with that idea. So just, I just my, my natural instincts, just the way that I naturally approached it, turned it into this thing that was way too high effort to actually be the, like, little, like, free time side project that I meant it to be. And then, you know, the, the time for the end of genocide came around and I had put so much work into it that I was like, well, I've got to fucking have like an epic payoff. I got to make like a big emotional finale. So I made a big finale and it was really cool. And I was like, well, that was more work than I meant to put into it. But still, I mean, it was still good. And I like the product. Um, like I was happy with it. So writing that high, I decided I decided that I wanted to do another one and when when Nuzlocke Genocide finished um it just happened to line up with Pokemon Sun was coming out and Mumkey was going to be doing a Nuzlocke of Moon and you know it was everyone was really hyped for Sun and Moon and I was riding high on that like ah oh, the finale came out and it got a, a real good response so you know, I kind of dived, like, I, I wanted to take a break, like, I didn't want, like, I wanted to take at least a month of, like, let me go back to drawing comics for a while, and so I don't have to 
think about this anymore because this is not my main thing that I want to be devoting all my time to. But it, you know, because I had to keep it up with Mumkey, because, well, well, because A, I wanted to time the release to like as soon as fucking Sun and Moon came out. Like I wanted it to, to ride that hype wave. I also, because of the way we set it up, me and Mumkey had to like keep pace, pace with each other and, um, you know, all that. So I didn't get to take the break that I wanted. I went basically right from doing that big high production um, finale of Genocide to Sun, or to, to starting up Conquest, and I fucking was dedicated to making this one bigger and better and longer and, and more art and all that crap that ended up being so fucking, I don't know, it just, it just stressed me out and it, and it, pulled me away from doing comics more than I had wanted to allow it to do. And I guess that's my bad. I kind of didn't maybe manage it that well in hindsight. Of course, I was like, this one's going to be even bigger, even better. There's going to be even more art for it. And I'm going to go and introduce, you know, there's going to be more of a story. I'm going to introduce more of these like little side elements above and beyond what is strictly necessary. And I did. And it proved to be even more of a fucking drain on my time. And, like, it's not that I don't like it. Like, looking back, it's not that I think, like, oh, it sucks and I shouldn't have done it. I like what they became, and I like the series. But I got, like, looking looking at it as, like, a cost-benefit analysis thing. The, the Nuzlocke videos are so, so um, niche that I don't I don't really think I think probably in terms of like my career or whatever probably the, the energy would have been spent elsewhere like I think if I had spent that time drawing comics I think I would probably be happier <laughs> today having that done so like again I'm not saying that I don't like the nuzlogs I do I think they're great I hope that they continue to be enjoyed for a long time but that's kind of that's kind of was my downfall because like I I didn't want to just make any old fucking Nuzlocke video. I wanted to make these big like story heavy like high production value things that would be would stand the test of time and be art and be enjoyed for fucking generations or whatever or or at least you know for years to come that people would could still find them and be like oh this is neat I like it. But I don't know, man. Looking back, that's kind of that's kind of not how Nuzlocke's, how most people view them. Like, I think, like, when I was watching the Monkey videos, I mean, yeah, I watched them, I watched some of them backlog, but I think what most people are doing is they're watching them as they come out to, like, oh, who's gonna die this week? Is anyone gonna die? Let's fucking see. So it's kind of like, it's kind of like that the that medium, if you want to call it a medium, is kind of, a, maybe it's, I think most people view it in more of a, I think to most people it has more inherent interest just when it's like when it's happening contemporaneously instead of like when it's something that's already happened. So maybe, maybe I'm fucked. Maybe in the future, nobody will care about Nuzlocke Conquest and Nuzlocke Genocide. And that's, that would be too bad. That would be too bad. But I guess if I can't fucking do anything about that, it's, it, it it's, it's going to be how it's going to be. Um, anyway, sorry to ramble. The, po my, the point I'm making is the Nuzlocke's were great, and I think they're cool, and I like them, and I'm proud of them, but I don't think I'm going to do another one because they're just... Like, I know they don't, they don't have to be a super high energy, a super high time-consuming kind of thing, but, like, the way that I would do them if I was doing them like they have to be like that's just how I would do it. So the way that I want to do them is too much energy. The way I could do them low energy. I could I could do them like in a in a more efficient way, but that's not what I want to do and if it's not what I want to do, then why even bother? Why even bother making them if I'm not making the thing that I want to make? That's what it's all about, making the thing that I want to make, making making the prod the product that I see in my head. So yeah, I know that for the GoFundMe, I implied that I would be doing a Nuzlocke for Pokemon Sun and uh, Omega Ruby, probably, once I got the uh, capture card. But 
I hope I hope that those of you who watch the Nuzlocks will be happy with, you know, 19 episodes of Nuzlocke uh, Conquest. Anyway, closing statement. So gonna gonna take a break, gonna take a break from Nuzlocke's possibly forever. What it in the meantime, I'm going back to focusing on comics. I'm gonna finish Champion like I should have done months ago. Um, once Champion's done, I'm gonna start on Vapors 3. That I've been fucking planning for over a year. Like, I've known that story for, like, over a year, and I still haven't done it, which fucking eats me up inside every day of my life. Um, so, yeah. Look forward to all that. If you would, if you would. And, um, have, have a, have a, have a grand, have a grand experience of, of this day. The rest of you, the rest of this day of your life. My friends, fuck you.